Welcome back to Let's Play Rakuen. In the last episode, we uh, went back, gave Sue her second marble, and learned about some other marbles, and then we came back through Winston's door, met the Libra Winston, and started what I believe is the main quest, but also a side quest? I'm not exactly sure yet, but it involves Gemma, Winston's wife. And I, for the life of me, could not figure out a puzzle. I know what that puzzle is now. I, uh... I figured it out a little while. I thought about it after the recording. I went back and checked the footage and everything. Ah. <sighs> Don't worry about the first part. Meet me on Armaleveth. So you know those moments when you just kind of overcomplicate things and things just seem very hard for you? This is one of those moments. Those two words are a date. Yeah, you have to unscramble them. <laughs> I think what honestly threw me off is the fact that the A and the R are capitalized. So if you unscramble these last two words, they say March 11th. Meet me on March 11th. The tragic date that we met, I believe, Winston on. Uh, Alright. One, two, three. One and one. March 11th. Yep, you have three new messages. The first message. Gemma, where are you? We've been trying to get in touch with you all week. Haven't you been watching the news? I think you should come home just to be safe. Anyways, please call me back. I'm really worried about you. Gemma, have you lost your mind? Please, I know what you're doing and I understand. But it's not safe to go there right now. You know this. Call me back, okay? Please. Please bring Gemma to the hyperbaric oxygen therapy room this morning, and we can get started with our first session. The monoplace chamber has an air mass that will need to be set to 21%. This is a very important step to preventing oxygen toxicity. Dr. Yoshida and the team will be there to facilitate. So that's all the voicemails. The door is open now. Oh boy. So, let's see. There's got to be some other stuff around here, right? Besides the bed. Don't pull the third level lever or we'll all be underwater. Oh, well, you could have told me that from the get-go. Although, we did get clear the water out now. After that small little 20-second run that we took. So it's all good now. Gemma, where are you? We're running out of time. Time? Hyperbaric oxygen chamber control panel. Please input patient oxygen level. 21? Monoplace chamber air brake mask oxygen level is now set 21%. The door! Wow, that was really- we were that close to the end of this, I guess? Impressive. Where am- I'm a Liebel! Gamma! Oh, I'm Gamma! Ilbo? Ilbo? I'm so glad to see you! Ugh, what a weird week it's been. I can't help but feel uncomfortable with all these Konko walking around. Konko? They've been here for three days. When are they gonna leave? Oh, I don't really mind. It's fun when the Konko come to trade with us, don't you think? Yeah, I suppose. But still, you've heard about what the Konko are like. They're no good. I'll be happy when they're gone. We... We're... We're... We're Gamma. What? What? I don't trust the Konko. I wish they'd leave, just leave already. I love all these new different races we've got. We've got the Leebles, we've got like Scylla Bears, we got Cave Bugs, we got Truffalos, we got Golems, we got the Konkos. Like, this is like a whole world. It's crazy. The Konko don't belong here. I don't care what kind of goods they bring from across the Great River. It's of no use to me. Oh, hey, Gemma. How have you been? I, according to me, just fine. Man, I love being able to trade with the Konko, but... There's always a part of me that can't wait until they leave our lands. 
Now I'm very interested to know what these conk are about. Good morning, dear. How are you this fine morning? Good, thank you. I just stopped by to see what the conko traders brought this time. Hmm, yes, well, please be careful, Gemma. The conko labels may look like us, but inside they are very different. Oh, so they're like different kind of label, essentially. I'm trying to think of an analogy, but nothing's really coming to me. They ought to be trusted. I guess like North Americans versus like South Americans in the sense of like Midwesterns versus like Florida, I guess. You know, like Midwest versus South or like East Coast versus West Coast type of thing. Of course, Elder. Would you believe that it took 500 silo berries to dye that cloth? I helped my mom dye it, and my hands were purple for weeks. <laughs> I can't do laughs. Oh, um... Are you okay? Do you need help with anything? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm not supposed to... I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. I understand. Well, my name is Winston. You're a conco. Oh, I'm Gemma. I hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong. Like, instead, it's supposed to be like Gemma or something like that, but Gemma sounds better, in my opinion. Now we're not strangers anymore. Hey, do you like flowers? Oh, I love them. I have a garden at home I tend to every day. Now that we're not strangers anymore, I have a gift for you. Come with me. Oh, oh, don't do it. Gemma. And now I'm the boy. What is going on? All oh, these blocks. What? What's this about? I see a hole there, but how do I... Oh, there we go. Ugh. I wonder if having to push level... If I wonder if uh, pushing level... Level... Lever 3 had anything to do with this. Ah, let's take care of that right quick. See a chest over here. Let's grab that as well. I find it interesting that Mother isn't with us. You found the gate key. Awesome. I wonder, because we're like in Gemma's flashback, that we need to not... We don't have Mother with us. That's probably, the, that's probably a good reason to assume. And there's a door again. Gemma, you made it. I was so worried about you. Aww. I've been waiting all spring to share this with you. Come this way. They shouldn't be able to see us from here. Have you ever heard of the Hikaribana? No, I haven't. Hikaribana is the name of the Konko tribe's most important festival. It's named after a very special flower that grows every spring. Look down by the riverbank. Do you see those big flowers? Winston, they're so beautiful! And they're glowing! Every year, the Konko luna flies lay their eggs inside those flowers. Come spring, the eggs hatch and the luna flies feed off the nectar inside. But until they learn how to fly, the luna flies are weak and vulnerable. So, it's the luna flies that make the flowers glow? Yes. But the really special part is about to begin. The luna flies and the hikaribana are actually very good friends, you know? What do you mean? 
In return for food and shelter, the Luna flies help the Hikaribana before they fly away. As they practice learning how to fly, they literally fly lift the flower up with them. You're lying! No, no, it's really true! As the flower floats through the air, the Luna fly's fluttering wings help spread the flower's pollen across the land. Gemma, look! So glad you could finally see it. Hey, is there someone over there? Uh oh, they heard us. Quick, follow me. It looks like someone's letter. Hi, Mom and Dad. How are you? I'm really enjoying studying abroad here in Japan. The people are nice. I'm getting good grades. I sure miss the Korean food, though. Did you know that at Korean restaurants here, they make you buy the appetizers? Even the kimchi. Isn't that weird? Oh, and I met a girl. I really like her a lot. I'm sure you will, too. Anyways, I'd better get going. Take care. Love you both. Winston. newspaper clippings. March 12th. Police had confirmed 1,480 people missing across the affected areas. It is feared that the final death count could rise sharply once a full picture of the catastrophe emerges. Have we been actually told what the actual catastrophe is yet? It seems like it was either an earthquake or some sort of like major disaster that I don't think would have been man-made if the death toll was that big. Unless it was a bomb, but I don't think we've heard much of it. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. And that's why I think it's a bomb, because the radiation. Workers in protective clothing scan people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. Although in Japan, didn't a nuclear reactor go off a few years ago because of an earthquake? This could be a reference to that. A stack of newspaper clippings have been stapled, yeah. It only took a few minutes for the 30 feet wave to wash the town away with a terrifying force, right? Is this- this is- this must be a direct reference that, Hi. A small thirsty houseplant. Hmm. I still have the empty- I don't even know I have the empty bucket. Lo and behold, I still have this- Bucket. Well, oh my, you are one thirsty plant. What's up with the water over there on the right? As well as a little sinkhole. Go away! I'm gonna assume you need one more spurt of water. Even then, it doesn't hurt to have a full bucket of water. Oh, look at that. A teddy bear. A large toy bear with two harsh shapes. Sharp shaped pink get well balloons. Oh no. Winston, your mother and I have noticed that, well, you've been spending a lot of time with that Ilbo girl. I'm gonna say elbow, Gemma. Yes, I really enjoy spending time with her. I feel like we have a bond. I've never felt that before. Well, we're happy that you found a good friend. But Winston, she is a friend, am I right? What 
What do you mean? Winston, we're open-minded Liebels. We know that trading with the Ilbo tribe has many benefits. I bought some very nice artwork from an Ilbo woman. Why are you telling me this? Winston, you're young. There are a lot of things in this world that you don't understand. I'm old enough to know that I love her. Have you lost your mind? No. I've never been more sure of anything in all my life. Do you even remember what the Elbow did to us? To our people? What they show you and how they are inside are completely different. You may think you can trust them, but you can't. Dear! He needs to hear this. It's for his own good. No. What did you say? Gemma is not like that. That's not how she is. You leave me no choice. You are no longer allowed to see Gemma. Not as friends, not as anything. I figured if I were to go up, bad things would happen. Oh my. Empty bucket. Patient log. Gemma will have to be transferred as we cannot provide necessary treatment for her at this facility. They hate me. Did he really come for me? I'm so alone. I'm so afraid. What the f- What? What? What the frick was that? Ah. Envoy, hi. I... am I allowed to touch you? I don't know. Attention, all hospital staff, urgent. Flooding has caused extensive damage to the basement and first floors. Do not be cashed in structural instability. Watch out! Oh gee! Oh jeez! Okay! Okay! I had a very good feeling that was a... that was the case. Okay. Do not touch the envoy. Good to know. Okay. Man, that was cool. That was very unexpected. Okay. Unmarked blood samples. Okay. Um, hi. Hi. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on walking because I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. Hello, staff room break rotation updated. Will you still remember me when it's all over? Okay, we're gonna go this way because that envoy is coming and bad stuff happens. Please, please, please turn around. Turn around, turn around. No, no, no. Go in here. Very good. Look inside. A weather journal lays by itself. I'm gonna read it. 20 March. Our small generators are pumping water out of the basement at a rate of about a centimeter per hour. We can compensate for some of our losses by improvising. Unfortunately, we still have lost 11 patients this week to the harsh conditions. Climb down. Ooh. So I can hold my breath for about 30 seconds. Which I believe is enough time to get to that lever. So I can turn off the water here. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Oh no. Oh, come on, boy. You can make it. This quest is taking quite the turn. Whew. Alright, let's see. What's your pattern? Are those. Please tell me that's not what I think it is. Okay, good. I see two holes. In this one, I find emptiness. Auxiliary room right. What's up here? Nothing so. Nothing that really. Table is covered with crisis manager pam pamphlets and empty first aid kits. A light. There's a faded letter inside. I don't care what they say. I know my heart that is. I know in my heart that this is right. When I've saved enough, I will return to the place where we first met and we can start a new life together and away from all this. Winston.
Ah, so turning on the lamp was a good idea. Okay. Just head over here. Up we go. To the left auxiliary room. 19 March. How long will it be before help arrives? We wrap them in blankets. We work 24 hour shifts. But unless we receive help, I don't think we can hold out for much longer. Turn on that light. Now I wonder. You didn't actually turn on. It's a. Uh... Oh boy. I. Okay, I'm going to assume you're locked. Yup. So what do I do? I did turn on that light, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Because if I go into auxiliary room right, that light is on. But if I go to auxiliary room left, that light is not on. Does this specifically want me to do something? Also, can I... Like, I'll save. Oh! Didn't know it was color based. Cool, got that light going. So, what did that do? It doesn't seem like it opened this, nor does it seem like the water went down. Oh, there's a hole over there. I could probably make that hole. Hold your breath, Sonic. There's also this grate here, which I wonder if this is actually something we can go in. I pulled that lever down. This kid is a good swimmer. He can hold his breath for a while. 30 full seconds. The current is too strong. You're unable to move forward. Oh, no. Hmm. Game over! What? Gosh darn it.